Hello everyone, my name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 17 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in the last tutorial, we, uh, we fixed some problems of design. Uh, we will we fix some designing problems. So in this tutorial, uh, I forgot something to know you. Just look at here. Here are also that icon are coming from here. So you can set that icon also from here. I'm going to show you how can you add that uh, one from there okay so if you observe here this is a dashboard so home icon we need here so i take close from here and here we set the home let's refresh and check it what is happening here just look at here home icon is not coming which means we need to add something here search it home home here copy that one paste that one from here with the home okay we'll refresh our this section okay so home is coming here but this home and dashboard word is uh, too close so we need to give some spaces from there fresh that so just look at this now that's looking very good perfect if i set the one more space then nothing is going to happen in here okay so uh, let's remove this space from here we are going to style the css and find the body left uli and here 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 just look at here we need to copy this one from here just because this is the i tag so we are going to use that i tag here and we set the width of that i tag 10 percent okay refresh that one uh i think yeah 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 a tag inside uh i tag inside the a tag just look at this now now it's take a place with the 10 percent okay and the same way if i use here with the category from body left section i'm going to copy this one from here by control c paste that one here by control v and here i'm going to set the th large okay refresh that one so let's find a th so yeah here it is the th are here F at th so refresh that one again from here just look at this now th is coming from here uh, same way you can set the all the icons from here you can set as per as your requirement and we need to some changes from here mm -hmm. yeah here it is the a tag color font weight font weight bold to it doesn't need that font weight bold we are going to use here text shadow uh, 5 pixel 5 pixel 5 pixel and the color is as 000 okay let's try to refresh that one okay so just look at this now nice looking very good i think it's very good but we need to decrease the shadow with the 2 pixel 2 pixel two pixel refresh that one from here so just look at this now now it's looking very good uh, same we just look at this now same way we are going to use that one so now let's uh, working on this animation just look at this now this animation is very cool and very beautiful so we are going to use that animation from here so how can we use that one what we are going to do here just uh, look at here when someone hold on this ally so the background color will be that one so i'm going to simply copy this one from here paste that one from here 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, also we have here, so it doesn't need to copy that one from here. We simply set the padding from the left, uh, five percent. Yeah, okay. And then the box sizing will be border box. Okay. So when I click on here, refresh button. Just look at this now. Now that is uh moving from here to here. Just look at this now. Now we need to remove this. Uh, send off from here so how can we do that so simply we are going to see uh, set here text send off none okay so i'm going to come back here again i'm going to refresh that one okay text send off oh not like that text shadow none okay when i click on this one so just look at this now so now that text shadow is none and when, uh, just look at this now when I click on this one so it is moving very smoothly and just look at this one this is moving very fastly so how can we slow that speed so simply come back here and set the one transition property here transition transition all 0.3s okay so come back here so now also we need to set that uh sorry set the transition also from a tag okay so when i again come back here refresh that one so just look at this now nice looking very smoothly very smoothly this is moving very smoothly from here you can see that you can set the icons from here i will set the icon in next tutorial from all of there you can search on every icon from here you can you can find the more than the 2400 icons from here just look at here 4556 icons are available here. Yes. There is so many different type of anime, uh, icons are available. If you want to need that icon, so simply click on that icon, copy this code from here and paste it in your HTML document or PHP document. You can set the animation from there. Okay. So guys, I think this is enough for today. In next tutorial, we are uh, just wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. I think this is the bold animation, na? Yeah, okay. We set the bold here. Font weight. Font weight. Bold. Now let's see. Okay, now it's looking very good now. And I think we need to decrease some uh, weight of this. Just look at this now, this width it's too much. So let's say the body left section here and decrease the weight with the 80%. Okay. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. So now here we are going to use 82% just because we use that 80%. Okay. Just look at this now. Nice looking, very good, very cool, and looking very beautiful. Okay. Just look at this now. You can see that this animation are perfectly working very well. So guys, I think this is enough for today. If you guys are like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Goodbye.